Mental Health Monday on KCAL 9 is sponsored by Dignity Health. Hello, human kindness. Mystery sleep thrashing left a Mission Viejo Navy veteran's wife bruised and his emotions in tatters. It's time now for Mental Health Monday. That's right. In this week's edition, KCAL 9's Pat Harvey shows us how he got to the bottom of a sleep disorder common in children, mm -hmm. but now on the rise in adults. Night is falling, yet sleep is not coming. I was up 10, 12 days at a time just with fear. Fear of falling asleep for Navy veteran Nick Mraz of Mission Viejo, Shut Ike, could be anything but restful. My adrenaline was through the roof. Nick's problem, night terrors. Sometimes I'd be violent, and sometimes it would just be such a massive panic attack. It was very exhausting on the body. Night terrors is the condition where you wake up screaming, sweaty, your heart is pounding, your breath is very, very shallow. Encino psychologist Dennis Palumbo specializes in sleep disorders, including night terrors. He even wrote a novel named after his specialty. Unlike nightmares, which tend to play like a movie and wake you with a sense of relief, when you wake from night terrors... You're just filled with dread and a sense of danger. Up until quite recently, night terrors was a pediatric diagnosis. Only 2% of adults suffered from night terrors. That number is rising. And the thinking is we're carrying around so much stress and anxiety in our modern world, but we have to suppress it. For Nick, night terrors were beyond extreme. It wasn't until I was you know, fully awake and after things had kind of calmed down that I realized the destruction that had taken place. With help from an Orange County organization called Families Forward, Nick was able to get to the counseling he needed to unravel the source. Well, it turns out he had PTSD from a 2006 experience on a warship off the coast of Somalia. We were tasked to divert pirates that were attacking a lot of shipping containers. His ship was attacked. I had just turned 18 pretty violent experience. Violence he relived night after night for years while he slept. The thrashing and punching hurt people he loved. You feel shame, you feel very down on yourself, you beat yourself up. But with counseling and therapy, Nick found peace. If you can put that pride aside and ask for help, that is the best thing I've ever done in my life. And that was our Pat Harvey reporting there. Now, in addition to emotional trauma, there can be medical reasons for night terrors, and among them, hypothyroidism. If you or someone you know is experiencing them, check in with your doctor as well as a mental health professional.